because huh. I don't follow the go to school, get a job, work hard, say, so that's hypnosis. They hypnotize people into being employees who will work hard, pay taxes, save money, get out of debt and invest in the stock market. Until you question those sayings, those words, you'll be a poor person. So how, so when they lend out them, why is debt tax free? I don't know. Because that's how money is created. And so the banks love it. They love people borrow lots of money. So how do I get rich? I borrow money and I buy assets with it. The poor person borrows money and buys liabilities like purses, cars, houses, and they get poorer and poorer and poorer. But I use debt. I borrowed 300 million after the crash dollars in 2000. By 2010, I had borrowed $300 million to buy real estate that made me rich. And the interest rates kept coming down so that my cost of money kept coming down. And so everybody else is saying, oh, you should get out of debt. You know why? Because they don't question the hypnosis they're under. You've been hypnotized to work hard for money, to save it. The fractional reserve system prints it. And then uh, they pay taxes of taxes. So I, get, I have all this debt and I get rich. So the question is, how do you learn to use debt to get rich? Because they tell you not to, not to get out of debt. So all I'm saying to you is if a person does not question what they've been taught, they will always be poor. They've been hypnotized into being poor. Then you put it in the stock market, you know, in pensions, right? So let's say I put $100 in a pension plan. When do I get that money back? Most Romanians don't even dream of getting to pension now. I understand that. But it's not just Romanians, please hear us worldwide. This is why I think, this is why I work, this is why I teach. You have to question what they're teaching. Okay. So I put, I put my money in a pension. I might not ever get it back because they could lose it. So the question I always say is, well, when do I get my money back? And the average person has been hypnotized. Go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, and invest in a pension. And you never get your money back. The whole thing was designed to keep you poor. So that's why I argue with you, until a person questions what's already been put in their head. And that's what my poor dad put in my head. Go to school, get a job, work hard. And that's America, same as Romania, it's not any different. We used save to, money, put it in the put it in the stock market. You never get your money back. We all look up to the uh, American dream. Is it all fake? I'm coming down to your book now because no, please let me finish. Okay. Okay. Until you question what's already in your head, you will do what's already in your head. Okay. There is a I don't know if people are Christian or not, but it's in the Bible it goes: the words become flesh. Go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, get out of debt, invest in the stock market, buy a house, buy a car. Until you question that, you're hypnotized. You'll be a poor person all your life. Okay, six very short questions. So what would you choose between Apple or Tesla if you had the money to buy it? What's that? The companies, if you had the money to buy Apple or Tesla, what would you buy? I just told you I don't invest in the stock market. But in companies, in businesses. I wouldn't invest in either of them. Either of them. No, so I don't get my money back. I want my money back. Okay. Gold or Bitcoin? Gold. Fight or flight? That's, that's a stupid question. I'm, Sometimes yeah. uh, uh, people that fight lose. So what? What's wrong with losing? Okay. Question, what you've been taught, and you ask me superficial questions, rather than why wouldn't I invest in Apple or Tesla? See, that's a more important question. That's an open question. You can do what you- But why wouldn't I invest in them? Because you don't get your money back. Yes. I'm starting to learn. Yes. I can make money much faster than Apple or Tesla. 
and I would use debt. I wouldn't use my money. But do you think they use their money to grow? Of course not. Look at Amazon, this guy Bezos, right? He's one of the richest men in the world. Do you think he pays any taxes? I think Bezos became a billionaire paying taxes. I wouldn't bet on that. He doesn't pay taxes. Trump doesn't pay taxes. I don't pay taxes. So the question is, how do guys, how do guys like us do it? Is the question you should be asking. We study different things. I wouldn't go to school.